Hello everybody, Max with a Website Pro here, and today I had Mama Leaf, she contacted me, and she says she's getting all these pop-up windows on her Windows machine, they interrupt what she's doing, and, and she's frustrated, and so I'm going to show you how to resolve these little pop-ups that you get up over here on your screen. Maybe they might be the weather, Facebook notifications, so on and so forth. So how do we deal with that? How do we customize these notifications? Well, the one thing that you want to do is over on the bottom right where you have that little chat box, click on that. It's going to bring up this right here. And here you can see I have an AccuWeather notification. And here's a, a, a Facebook notification that just popped up. So I could come up here and I could select Manage Notifications. This is my notification settings. Now, if I don't want to get any notifications at all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this, and that makes it so, uh, and make sure you all ha have these unticked, all right? And then you won't receive any notifications. Now, that's the quick way to do it, okay? Now, <clears throat> if you want to get notifications from certain places, like maybe you do want to get them from Facebook or AccuWeather or so on, if you scroll down here, you notice here uh, Google Chrome, you ever be on a website and uh, the website will have a little pop-up and say, uh, we want to send you notifications. Can we send you notifications? And then you, if you select OK or Allow, then that becomes a setting in the Google Chrome browser where, you know, they're called push notifications. And then you'll get those notifications on your, uh, on your screen. Here I, you can see I have AccuWeather via Microsoft. So that's a little bit different than the Chrome. Here you could have suggested notifications, uh, banners. You could just turn those off. Here's uh, Facebook. You see I, I just got a, uh, a notification from Facebook via the Microsoft Edge browser. Here's print notifications if you want to uh, have a notification when something's printed. Here's my FileZilla. Here's different settings, autoplay, photos. And you keep going on. Cl clock is nice because if you set an alarm, uh, the alarm notification will pop up. Say, okay, let's do that. Here's my Opera browser, Microsoft Edge. Notice I have it shut off. Snip and sketch. But you can turn all of these off that you don't want to be shown. Or, like I said, you could just come up here and shut them all off. Now, what I like to use is this Focused Assist Settings. Okay? I click. You click on Focus Assist Settings, and if it's off, you'll get all notifications. But notice that the times I have the times I only want to get my notifications from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. so I have that set in because I, I start work about three o'clock in the morning and I don't want to be bothered from three to 7:59 because at eight o'clock that's when I get my puppy and we go out for our hike right so to set set it you just click you know set the time that you want if you wanted it at 7:59 a.m. You just click that and then hit this little checkbox. And then the, my end time is uh, 12 noons, but maybe I want that to be 11.55. So 11.55 a.m. Boom. So from s my notifications will only show now from 7.59 a.m. to 11.55 a.m. Okay? And here you can tick this box, show notification in Action Center when Focus Assist is turned on automatically. You can have that checked, but I am not going to do that. All right. So that's pretty easy. You know, like I said, if you just want to, uh, uh, if you don't want to do Focus Assist and you want to turn them all off, you can just turn them all off. I have it during these times. And uh, there's other uh, circumstances that you could you know, whenever you're duplicating your display, alarms only. When I'm playing a game, priority notifications only. Uh, when I'm using an app in full screen mode, you know, alarms only. So there you go. It's pretty simple to do. And I hope this video helps somebody. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial.